What is up everybody? This is Michael Pyle Sage checking in here today and uh, I just wanted to show you guys some quick updates on some of the experiments that I was talking about in uh, recent videos. One of which uh, being here, which is basically the poo and grain jars. So I don't I want to be careful without showing myself to or anything, but uh, basically I uh, have poo and grain in here and they have been sterilized. So I will be inoculating these jars with some pool lover mycelium today. And we have another one back there as well. And as you can see, it's I didn't load it too much because I'm not sure about the shaking potential with the, with the poo. Uh, I have a feeling it's fine though. It's not too heavy or anything. If I bash it enough, it should be able to, <laughs> should be able to uh, break up pretty easily, I think. But this is a little experiment. So uh, if this works out, it'll be, I know it'll work out, but you know, it's more mostly about the fruiting that I'm thinking about, but. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long to colonize. I'm just going to be using wedges. Um, so yeah, that's the first part. And the second thing I wanted to tell you guys about was the other experiment where I was telling you guys that I'm going to shoot a bunch of water, sterile water inside the jars of disappointment. So I had like nine jars that are disappointing. By the way, there's a piece of string in there. <laughs> I found a piece of string in there. Uh, <laughs> so basically I shot up uh, all, well, six jars with 10 uh, cc's, basically a full syringe. I guess you could say even 12 cc's with these guys. So I shot them up, like each, every single jar, I shot them up the full syringe. And you know, after I shot it up, it was just full of water. And I was like, oh, maybe I, uh, maybe I did it too much. So for three of them, I just went with five cc's, basically like half. And also once I finished injecting them with water, I shook them very, very well to disperse it properly. So the grains can evenly absorb the water. And you know, I sort of regret it because, because as you can clearly see, the grains fully absorbed the 10 cc's or the 12 cc's. And you know, they look like they could actually absorb a little more. So I'm gonna leave them for a while. As you can see, the grains are sort of recovering. I did this uh, about a day and a half ago. Um, so the Starry Nights are recovering faster than the Mexicans. That's basically what's going on. So that was sort of a success. So it'll be interesting to see how much faster the 10cc is relative to the 5cc. And then the third thing I wanted to show you guys, don't worry, we'll get to the tub. The third thing I wanted to show you guys is I have a video that I made a couple days ago that I still haven't got to editing, but it's basically on how to make agar slurry. So I'm going to be releasing a video on agar slurry. And I wanted to show you guys, um, so I inoculated these poo cakes with the agar slurry that I made in that video. And as you can see, it's been a couple of days. So this was on the, I think, uh, 30th, yeah, 30th or something. Uh, as you can see, we are starting to get some mycelium growth from the agar slurry syringes. Very nice. So look forward to that. Now let's check out the tub. The tub is looking beautiful, which just which is just gonna make it harder when it eventually trikes out. <laughs> but you know, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, looking very very healthy. I've initiated basically sort of rooting conditions, I guess you could call it. Um, which is with these tubs, you know, it's basically a modified. You know, they have these little holes here, as you can see. So it's almost like a like a unmodified, but like a modified easy dial in a certain way sense. Obviously the airflow dynamics are different, you know, um, but so anyways, what I decided to do was I just decided to put these things inside here, right? And on both sides. And what this allows is, as you can see, there's a pretty open, uh, space for the air to come in and I've been doing this for over a day now and it seems like it's not drying out the tub too much or anything it's actually just a perfect amount getting some good evaporation going so hopefully we could get some pinning soon so yeah and in terms of the shoe box pretty much fully colonized here I'll show you guys there we are no trike as of yet you guys can do it you guys can do it um, so yeah, basically initiating fruiting, essentially. And you know, usually I go like this, even when fruiting, but I feel like they could use the extra airflow right now because I'm not leaving the window open too much or anything, or I'm not leaving a fan on. So just to get a little more passive FAE, I'm just, sort of, uh, I'm just leaving it open like this so they could get some air going in there. So yeah, made a bunch of transfers. 
made a bunch of new plates. So that's sort of what's going on uh, on the mycophilia end. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day or night. I will check back with you guys in a few days or maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know, you know. All right, guys, have a good one.